What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys to talk to something today that I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't covered this uh, earlier, but something I had questions about every so often here. And it's about the healthcare here in Las Vegas, here in the Southern Nevada area. So we're going to talk about uh, that today in this video. First, I do want to give a shout out to David, Mel, and Michelle, who all tipped me on PayPal recently so uh, remember guys you ever want to tip me on paypal i put the link down below in the video if you guys ever want to some people they tip me on there they give me a little message saying hey i love the info i appreciate the content i love it too man thank you for doing that guys i appreciate you uh also if anyone want to talk to me get more and more people who want to talk to me link down below check out that description right now i'm using a platform called clarity we can book a call to talk to me. you book the times work for you i'll respond from there if you're a business owner and you want to do an advertisement or any kind of sponsorship on the channel use the email down below as well okay if you're a business owner and you want to do sponsorship on the channel okay with that being said Let's jump into this. Talking about healthcare uh, here in Nevada, I'm definitely going to open this one up to you guys in the comments section. I want to hear what you have to say about this uh, below because I've had to go to the hospital a couple times here in Las Vegas. Uh, it's been years since I've had to go. I've been happy with the treatment that I've received here, okay? In Nevada, if you ever look online, um, you look like, you know, you do a search on Google for like, you know, ranking the 50 states uh, by their health care and things like that. But generally, Nevada is in the bottom half. That's what I've noticed. So, you know, I can put a couple links down below to some um, articles or websites. I think one I saw in Nevada at 35 out of 50. Uh, another one was like at 40. I think they were number 40 out of 51 because they included a DC in that one. Another one they were like, again, 40, 41, somewhere in there. So that's where Nevada typically ranks uh, in terms of its health care. Part of that is probably due to the fact that uh, for years, I mean, for a long time, this area did not even have a school of medicine. Not until 2017 did we get a school of medicine here in Las Vegas. And Las Vegas, uh, for a long time, was, was either one of the biggest, if not the biggest metro areas in the United States to not have its own school of medicine. Our um, you know, neighbors up north, up in Reno, I believe their school of medicine opened back in the 60s. Somewhere around there, I think their school's been open for like darn near 50 years or something like that. So Reno has had one for a long time, even though it's much smaller than Vegas. Vegas did not have a school of medicine. So that's one of the things that probably hurt the area, hurt the state in its ranking. Um, you know, other things too, the area has been growing a lot. It's getting a lot bigger. So we've been getting more and more medical professionals who come here. That is one industry where they do need more people. They need more doctors. They need more nurses. They need more people, you know, to be... Um, physician's assistants and things like that. You know, we need more people in the medical field here because again, we are growing. Vegas is not slowing down anytime soon when it comes to its growth here. So also when it comes to Nevada, you know, in the rankings, I don't know exactly how they calculate those rankings, but you know, I'd imagine here being in Las Vegas, right? Being in a bigger metro area, you know, you're gonna get better medical care than you would, you know, if you're in a small place like Winnemucca or Ely or Elko or something like that. Okay, bigger areas usually have more people, so they have more doctors. Doctors can afford to specialize, you know, and maybe in shoulders or in knees or in whatever the case is. They can specialize in certain areas because there's more people and they can afford to do it versus a smaller town where you probably have more doctors who are more general in their practice. Okay, talking about my experience here in Vegas, um, I guess I only had to go to the hospital really two times here. Once was at Mountain View up in the northwest part of town. The other was at um, St. Rose Dominican in the southwest uh, on Warm Springs. So I had to go to those two places. It was actually for the same issue. This was back when I was um, first getting into like changing my diet and meal prepping and stuff like that uh, here in Las Vegas. This was before I was even on YouTube. And um, I remember I had a, a cheat meal because I had been dieting for months. And I did my first cheat meal and it was, it was pretty, it was pretty impressive guys. I mean, I had a pizza, I had ice cream, I had, you know, like chocolate pie and stuff like that. All kinds of stuff, you know, with grease and sugar and those kind of things. I had that meal. Then a couple days after that, my skin actually started to break out. And um, remember actually one of them, when I was doing my cardio a couple days after that, um, one of the, uh, like the zits or whatever, you know, you got, or that I got, actually got infected. So got infected went um went to mountain view they actually gave me some uh, antibiotics for it so they gave me some medication started taking that felt better um but some of it you know was still there it was still present because i was super tired i mean I, I remember leaving work early one day and i don't think i'd ever left work early i left like two hours before my shift was done i was super tired so the medication helped me feel better but one of the infections they still had to get out so i went to saint rose dominican 
um, said in the southwest part of town. And they actually decided to cut it open and drain the fluid out of there, and everything went fine. I mean, everything went well. I was happy with the treatment, like I said, at both places. I didn't have to wait super long in the urgent care, anything like that. Uh, paying for it with the insurance I had at the time was a little strange because uh, I think at one hospital it was like the insurance covered the doctor but not the facility. I think at the other one they covered the facility but not the doctor. So I didn't wind up having a medical bill I had to pay out of pocket for, which I paid off. Not a big deal. Um, you know, medical bills aren't always cheap, but nonetheless, I was able to pay it off. So, you know, my experience with the healthcare here, you know, it's been good. Okay. My experience coming in healthcare here has been good. You know, I was happy with a lot of the healthcare I actually received back when I was in California. I was happy with the healthcare I received here in Las Vegas. Um, I know one other person who actually came here to UMC right behind me, which as you guys can actually see is the, uh, official healthcare provider of the Vegas Golden Knights. So this is the official healthcare provider of the Golden Knights. I know one person who actually, um, in their building, they had carbon monoxide and they had to get out of there like right away when the carbon monoxide, they could feel it and they noticed it. And they came here to UMC, got treated here, were taken care of. They didn't say anything bad about, you know, again, a long wait time or the treatment they got or the quality of care, anything like that. So, you know, Nevada does not rank great in terms of his healthcare, but said, going on my experience, going on from what I've heard from other people, you know, it's been fine. It's been good to me. Uh, if you guys want to tell me about it down below, especially if you live here in Southern Nevada, I would really like to hear it. So I'm really open this up to you guys to share your experiences here because I'm mostly speaking from my own experience on this topic, okay? So remember guys, if you do want to talk to me about moving here or anything like that, links down below for all that, okay? If you're a business, you want to uh, do any kind of sponsorship on the channel, you can use the email down below in the description for that. I wish for all of you to subscribe to the channel if you're watching this right now. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. I'm Jacob, this is my life in Vegas.